y'all, I'm Dylan. Welcome to Russ Saver's Garage. Tonight I'm gonna to show you a really cool find that we found here. This is a 1970 Dodge D300 Wrecker, factory built. Uh, it's just two wheel drive, which is cool. Most of them were. There were some rare four wheel drives, but this thing has been sitting for about 15 years. It's supposed to run, but who knows? As you can tell, it's been sitting a while. So hope you'll stay with us to see if we can get this thing going. There's supposed to be an engine in this thing. And I think on this year model, it props from the outside here. Cause I know in 72 or 73, they had a hood release inside, you know, for theft and safety and all that stuff. But the key and stuff is supposed to be in this thing. I don't think that door wants to come open. We'll go to the other side over here and see if we can figure out how to get it from over here. Maybe this door will come open. Yeah. So, all right, the key is in the ignition. So that is a plus. Got some kind of weird glass or something here. I'm gonna set this out. Looks like we've had mice and everything in here. It smells like mice. That's for sure. I think the roosters in the background are agreeing. But uh, I don't know what this fits. It's a good piece of glass, whatever it is. I'm sure they won't care if I stick it over here. Now, I think that's getting low. That is a very interesting seat. Uh, Looks like a Fleur de Lee, something like Louisiana style. I don't know. Maybe you guys can figure out what it is. I have no idea. But this thing is neat. It's got a split bench in it. Huh. I have no clue what this seat has come out of. I, I don't know if this is a factory seat or not, but that is a pretty cool seat. I will say that. And it's got some kind of sleeve on the shifter. Maybe this thing was used in like colder temperatures or something. He said it came from Indiana, probably northern Indiana or something like that. So maybe that's why it's got that shifter sleeve to keep that air from, you know, hitting your legs and stuff as you're going down the road when it's cold out. Anyway, let me see if I can crawl over in this thing and get this driver's door open. I mean, that door is stuck. Okay, well. He's in it. That's good. I'll put it back. Got some bug bombs in here. Makes me feel just a little bit safer. Not much, but a little. Just gonna set these right here. Time in. Nice little crack in the windshield. That's cool. Clutch is stuck on this thing, and the brakes. Gas isn't stuck. Maybe it's got some life left in it. Let's see what's under the hood. I'll do something about that door here in a few minutes. That uh, tailgate definitely does not go with this truck. So let's. Uh, just for good luck, let's move it over here. No disrespect intended for you four guys. Oh boy. Yeah. Small block. Probably 318, 360. Something along those lines. Oh. A prop rod. Well, good. Let's see. This thing is stuck. I'm going to try pulling on this fan down here. Oh. Well, it's not stuck. Check the oil here. Well, 
It's got Earl in it. He's in there for sure. Some kind of Earl. <laughs> That's good. No. Oh. I'm gonna go in there and roll that window down so it'll make it easier to reach through this thing. Just wiring and stuff. <laughs> Look at that fuse block right there. Now that is redneck if I've ever seen it. Forget about putting it under the dash, just put it right here on the firewall. That way if you blow a fuse, you can pull it right out. You know, open the hood, there you go. You have at it. You blow a fuse, you can look and see. Look at their old bus fuse. Well, both of those look good. Wait a minute. Yeah, those are good, but uh, I don't know about the rest of this. What a setup. Wow. I think that would be a great way for something to catch on fire right there. Especially with all this. You can tell this thing's been sitting a while. Somebody's been into the wiring, looks like. Yep, Mopar. Phone wire and stuff. But it's got headers on it. That's cool. The radiator in this thing looks big enough for a Mack truck, I'm telling you, or KW, Kenworth, Peterbilt, whatever. That radiator is definitely overkill for this truck, for a small block. It should be about this big, you know, and it's this big. So, that's big. Well, I'm gonna stick a battery in this thing and see what happens. Look at this fine engineering that they put over here on this throttle return linkage right there. Ain't that something? Well, can't blame them for using what they had, which is obviously what they did in this case right here. Hey, but it works. Springs back. So, hopefully the carburetor's good. Never can tell. But hey, we got headers. If nothing else, we got headers. Headers are cool. Need to oil this thing up, I'm telling you. The door won't come open on the driver's side, and if this thing was to catch on fire, a man would probably just burn up inside. So having this window down is gonna make this thing a little bit easier, I think, to be able to reach that ignition switch. Yeah, right there. I've got a hot battery in this thing. Hopefully, it'll turn over here for us. So I'm gonna hook this cable up here and see if uh, how bad the wiring is. If this thing doesn't arc or spark, that's a pretty good indication that we don't have any shorts anywhere or anything like that. So definitely don't want to short on this thing if we're going to be messing with it and it catch on fire or whatever. You know, that wouldn't be good. So there goes nothing. Ooh, nothing yet. So we're hot. Let me go over there and see if uh, this thing is going to turn over with the key. Hopefully it will. power let's see if we got power uh oh no horn button hmm maybe headlights or something I have nothing hmm well that's not good probably gonna have to jump it up front jump the solenoid off with a screwdriver show y'all how to do Mopar solenoids So we don't want to start out the key. We got our own key right here. We'll start it with a screwdriver here. Hopefully, with Mopar, you've got a solenoid wire right here and you've got a main hot wire. So if the starter is any good, when I go to hit these two together, it should fire off, turn over something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. I don't think that starter is any good. But let me try getting another hitting it with a hammer. That might make it come loose. 
Behold, the hammer of freedom. Let's see if we can make it work. You know that old saying, if it's not working, hit it with a hammer. And it's still not working. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's going to need a starter, at least. So, time to make a trip to the auto parts store.